if you're doing a study of the nude body, um, it, it is a study, an observational study, and you're trying to get it as true as possible. There are so many studies that are going on, so you are trying to get a truth of it. It's not just, it's not just that. <laughs> looking at people you tend to be a bit like oh <laughs> yeah, I've noticed that person they're, they're like they've caught my attention and like I think that's it everyone has that life drawing is so important to learning how to paint or how to draw because until you understand the human form without clothes you can't possibly hope to draw it well either the male or female body clothed and there is um, an element of that sort of it being it's the sort of purest form really to, to be able to there's a kind of vulnerability as well of drawing this person that's prepared to kind of show themselves to you in that way, for you to fully understand them as a physical being, I suppose. My work focuses on the reversal of the nude within classical art, how the man is shown as a strong, independent person who's, who's encompassing the space, and the woman's always seen languid, laid in a bed. My favourite aspect of drawing the nude is always the breasts, which uh, I find they're very, they're very beautiful objects which usually are being covered over, and like things like nipples that seem to be uh, sexualised, where really it's just a beautiful form with a function of um, biology, not sexual purpose. So it's nice to draw them in a way that isn't sexualised and having a delicate appreciation of the body. It's, it, it, it makes people question why, why you need a reason to be what you are and within my paintings it's interesting to see if people notice that there's a gender reversal and, or if they just accept it straight away like it's, it's the truth of our like, society now is that women can be dominant, they shouldn't be, it shouldn't be questioned and whether that is accepted as we think it is within society. I think sometimes you want to be as realistic as possible and other times you see something in the model that captures a part of your imagination where you, you try and maybe just follow, follow the movement of your hands and, and not think it through too much and not be too obsessed with realism and and sort of allow yourself to just see what happens and then that will be that thing that you produce will have a, a truth of its own it won't be it's not a photograph it's not going to be an exact representation of that person but you've got to have you've got to have the confidence to just let I don't know how you try and work out what is truth in a drawing um, it is my truth, for sure. There's no avoiding that, because um, you, you make marks, it happens so quickly, that process, that you're not making a decision about what always the truth you want to reveal. And when you have very little amount of time, it just captures not just the model at that moment, it captures you. Mm -hmm.